My name is Beth Lieben. I'm a mom. I have two grown children, launched, out the door, and I work in sales. I work for a clinical lab, so I'm out seeing physicians most of the day. My bliss is my cycling. I'm a road cyclist. I also ski and I hike and anything outdoors. I'm just happy. My tinnitus started over Christmas, and I was sitting on my sofa, and I would hear it in the background. And my background is speech pathology and audiology, just like Dr. Julie's. That's what my undergraduate degree is. So I sort of knew what it was. And then I had an episode that week that was pretty traumatic that happened in front of my house, and the stress was pretty high. And then it just turned on. My sound is very high-pitched. It's a hiss. If you picture a wind tunnel, that the wind is moving very, very quickly, and there are shards of glass hitting each other. That's in my head how I describe it sometimes. I cannot turn it off. Nothing will make it go away, and I hear it 24-7. I'm an early riser, and I do a lot of my computer work, my emails, at 6 in the morning. I could not put a sentence together. I'd get up, I'd sit in front of the computer, i put music on, the music was bothering me, put the TV on, TV was bothering me. I couldn't put a sentence together. Work was not good. In fact, I went to the HR gal and I said I may go on FMLA for three months. I thought I needed to take off time, de-stress, because stress makes it worse, and um, just go away for a bit and see if I can get this better by myself. My son told me, Mom, it came on so quickly it's going to go away really quickly. So every day I get up and I kept waiting. I didn't want to admit and acknowledge that this wasn't going away by itself. And I am more of a holistic kind of person, so I wanted to try anything that was not invasive. I went to an audiologist, and she tested my hearing, and she said, you do have a mild to moderate high frequency hearing loss. And I said, what can I do about it? And she said, nothing much. I had about six sessions of acupuncture. They felt great, didn't do any good. He put me on a bunch of different supplements. And then two weeks later, it got really bad. I finally went to see an ENT, and he did all the testing. He said, you're absolutely, perfectly, structurally fine. He threw a plethora of drugs at me to see if the inflammation would get away, and nothing, nothing worked. So I did all the avenues I needed to do. I was physically fine. I had no balance problems. I had no headaches. I didn't have any symptoms of something structurally wrong with me, but when you have tinnitus, you try everything. I would have gone and seen a witch doctor in a teepee if someone could have helped me. It was on one night, and I remember this vividly, it was the Academy Awards, and I was by myself at home, and I couldn't sit still. It was so loud that I was pacing and I was crying. It was a turning point for me. It was getting worse and worse and worse. My anxiety was getting worse. And then that night, I had to do something. I, I hit bottom. The next day, my car drove me to Dr. Julie's office, and Patrick was there. And when I said to him, I need help, I broke down crying. And Patrick started talking to me, and he said, we can help you. You're so new to this, one. we can help you. And then Dr. Julie walked in, and the first thing she said to me, I remember, was that she said when her tinnitus gets bad, she has to leave a patient because she can't focus. And I said, you get it. You understand what I am going through. If you don't have this at the level that I have it and probably so many of her patients, you don't get it. And she said, make an appointment. I can help you. We can get this better. And she herself has tinnitus. And it's like anything else, until you walk in someone else's shoes, you really don't know what someone's experiencing. And I knew that for the two months that I had it without help, everyone was trying to be so supportive, but they didn't get it. And then when Dr. Ju Julie told me she had it, I knew, I knew I could get help. I had a scheduled MRI for nine o'clock the next day. Julie had an opening the same time. And I canceled the MRI and I saw Julie. And that afternoon when I left, I was a new person. I had hope. I just knew I had a plan. I did not have a plan before. And it changed my whole mental attitude. I said, okay, I'm gonna get better. This is going to get better. When they explained it to me, when they explained how scientifically this works, I went, fine, it made sense. 
it clicked in. I'm a science person, so it just made so much sense to me that I went, of course it's gonna work. An analogy, if I could, um, I was telling my son this, and he said, Mom, it's just like a stroke victim. When someone has a stroke, you have to get the neural pathways changed to get their arms working or their legs working again, and the sooner the better. That's exactly what they're doing with your brain. This is so recent for you, they're just gonna create new neural pathways. And I went, of course it is. Made sense. And when you accept it and you believe it, it works. The tinnitus sound is still there. I still hear it, I'm only three months in, and Julie said six months to a year, my anxiety is gone. I had such high anxiety where being alone was very uncomfortable for me. I needed to be surrounded or talking to somebody. That went away within a week. The tone therapy, the Zen therapy made it go away. And to me, that was worth everything. You always hear about hearing aids and you always think it's for older people. I've accepted them. It takes one second to put them in my ear. I don't even know I have them in. They're tiny, no one ever knows I'm wearing them. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, but I love the tones. It's very zen. It's very calming to me. And I'm really kind of proud of it because it has helped me so much. Work is great. Um, I can compose emails. Um, I'm cycling. I was skiing again, going out with friends, having a good time, gardening, cooking, doing everything I love. It, it's not interfering anymore. It's really in the background for me now. I will say the one thing I miss and people who have tinnitus understand this, I don't have silence anymore. So when I went skiing, I used to have that beautiful silence. I don't get that anymore, but I know I will. I know this will get better. It makes so much sense to me. It makes so much scientific sense that I know it'll work. I just have to give it the time that she told me to give it. Um, but with the anxiety being gone, I'm living my life again. If I can tell people who are watching this to not be scared, not be skeptical, not be embarrassed. Um, it's just part of life. It's part of what happens to our bodies, but you don't have to live with it. And you don't have to live with the anxiety, which can really ruin your life. It can really stop you from living your life. And life is wonderful. And the minute I had this and the anxiety went away, and I said it maybe took a week of the tone therapy, I'm back. And I'm really happy. <laughs>